Welcome back. 13 Democratic state attorneys general fighting to stop the blockbuster T-Mobile Sprint merger. Deirdre Bolter covering the story. Deirdre Bolton right now in New York. Yeah. Deirdre. Hey, Maria, that's right. I'm right in front of this federal courthouse. This is an unprecedented move because you highlighted this earlier. The Department of Justice and the FCC, they already cleared this $26 billion merger between T-Mobile and Sprint. So as we know, normally that's the last step in the process. It's a done deal after that. However, here is the glitch. Here's what's going on, and here's why this case is so unusual. You have 13 attorneys general from 13, let's call them Democratic states, New York, California, really leading the charge, plus D.C., and they are essentially questioning, in a manner of speaking, by this lawsuit, whether or not the DOJ and the FCC did its job. I spoke with Walt Pisek. He is with Lightshed Partners. That's what he said is going on. He said there are very strong political overtones in all of this. Uh, one other interesting thing to note, of course, inside today, T-Mobile and Sprint will be arguing that they need this merger to work if they're going to compete with AT&T and Verizon. So AT&T and Verizon each have about 100 million subscribers. Sprint has about 60 million. T-Mobile has about 40 million. So they're going to make this argument that they have to be united to be a fierce competitor. <laughs>